just like the Incredible Hulk. Boxers and mixed martial artists can transform into real beasts when the fight starts. But how does adrenaline-fueled rage really affect power? And can that rage be created in a test tube? This is a medical experiment unlike any test we've ever done. Because what we want to know is what creates more punching power, natural adrenaline or an adrenaline shock. To answer this question, we hit the sports science sport court and brought in a fighter who feeds on rage, Houston the Assassin Alexander. This light heavyweight burst onto the MMA scene with legendary knockout power. But right before the fight, a change does happen. It just, this rage starts building up. There's a, this adrenaline rush that, that I, I, I can't control. I start getting into this pit bull mentality. This is how you throw the perfect punch. You square up on your opponent. Squared right here, right in his face. You generate the energy from your foot, to your butt, to your shoulder, to your arm. You square up and you start twerking like this. What we're looking at is the effects of adrenaline on punching power. What we're going to do is we're going to have you do a baseline punch. Then we're going to see what natural adrenaline does to your punching power. In the final stage, we're going to inject you with pure adrenaline. Wow. And I got enough adrenaline already, so that this could be incredible, man, to see what, what the reaction is with extra adrenaline. So we'll see. We're going to see if you are a real-life Incredible Hulk. <laughs> no question, no doubt about it. There are numerous well-documented cases of athletes using illegal stimulants like speed or cocaine in an attempt to improve performance. Injecting someone with epinephrine or synthetic adrenaline will replicate the effects of those drugs and will also allow us to compare how artificial stimulants stack up against the power of the body's natural adrenaline. This is an incredibly dangerous experiment because injecting someone with adrenaline is extremely risky. Houston could go into cardiac arrest, or worse. So we start the test slowly to get a baseline when he's cool and calm. I'm ready to go. We've wired the Hybrid 3 crash test dummy with an array of special force sensors that will measure the power of Houston's punch. Houston, you're getting ready. Houston generates 600 pounds of force. That's like literally getting hit in the face with a hammer. The next stage is for us to allow your body to produce its own adrenaline. Now, do you have some sort of pre-fight routine or anything to psych you up? Uh, There's a 30-second drill that we do. That's when everything is, just goes berserk. So we want you to go berserk. We're going to have you do your 30-second routine. We're going to build up as much natural adrenaline as you have. All right. Then we're going to have you punch the dummy again. You ready to do it? No problem. Do it. Let's do it, bro. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. So how are we going to get him angry? Well, we sure don't want to make him mad, but this guy will. Houston's trainer, Mick Doyle. Well, when you're around a fighter as many hours a day as a coach is, you, you get to know what makes him tick. You experience the highs and you experience the lows with them. A good coach figures out a way to 
um, to teach that all these experiences, the highs and the lows, are all important and they're part of the process and making it and creating the champion. Mick's job is to get Houston's adrenaline flowing, to get him as angry as possible for the second punch. Hey, remember that feeling in your gut when you lost that fight? I want all that rage that you experienced when you lost and all the disappointment, I want it building up inside you right now. You just don't want that rage, man. You know the feeling I'm talking about in that dressing room, that disappointment. I need it. I need it. Come on, man. Get fired up. Let me see it. Let me see it. You got me? Hit that thing. Let's go. All that rage, I want it right now. I want you to unleash that beast. Come on, man. Are you ready to go? Ready to go. Ready to go. Do it. Unleash the beast, Houston. Come on. Hit that thing. emotional for you. I mean, what, what is the button that got pressed? To the fear of failure. I don't like losing. I hate, I hate losing. I hate losing. How much punching force did an amped up, adrenaline-fueled Houston generate? <laughs> A hammering 1,000 pounds. That's 400 pounds more force than he produced in his baseline test. Need you relax. It's just a test, man. It's just science. That's all. Just the nuts and bolts. Breathe. Slow. Relax. Relax. So how does adrenaline amp us up? Our motion capture technology gives us an inside look at how adrenaline punches the gas and puts us in overdrive. When we're in danger, our adrenal glands flood the body with natural adrenaline. This adrenaline causes the heart to beat faster and redistributes blood to the brain and muscles. The muscles can then receive more than five times the normal amount of oxygenated blood, which allows bursts of amplified strength and speed. Houston was able to get his heart rate to 150 by emotion and self-generated emotion. The sports science chief medical advisor, Dr. Basil Eich, is supervising this experiment, and he's astonished at Houston's performance. That kind of rage, that kind of fear, is the kind of emotion that generates uh, epinephrine in the body and allow someone to channel force and power. So whipping Houston into a fury unleashed a flood of natural adrenaline, resulting in an additional 400 pounds of pure punching force. But we've got one more stage of the test. How will Houston's punching power be affected? when we actually inject him with a double shot of pure adrenaline. A shot of adrenaline. I can feel it running through my veins. 